this is video two, and I want to go through how to make this thing work and work properly. You'll notice that I'm feeding these, but I'm putting them in faster than it's cycling. So there's no need to have extra tubes or anything like that. You can just do it and keep up with it. And in 20, about 20 minutes, you'll have all of these bullets done. And you won't be tired at all. Isn't that good? All right. Well, let me go over some of these parts that are very critical for you and to be able to do this yourself. Uh, one of the things you have to have is this pneumatic cylinder. And I chose one that is an inch and a half bore, which means the size of, of this, this tube here, the cylinder. And uh, I, I did that because I wanted to have something that the shaft is the same strength as this shaft. I, I figured if this shaft needed to be that strong, then that one needs to be strong too. And it's 10 inches, so it has a 10 inch throw which makes it complete and go back, complete and go back. That's very, very important. And uh, I, wanna, I wanna show you some, some other features of it. If you'll notice right here, this is a feature that, that I made and, and it's a guard to protect you from stupid. And stupid is that you would have it running and something malfunctioned and you stuck your finger in there to, to try and fix it at, well, Every two seconds, that thing is coming down and it's going to chop your finger off if you stick it under it. And it won't stop. It's just going to keep going. Because it's not on something that is uh, pressure sensitive. It's on a timer like this timer right back here. And I have uh, uh, gotten, a, just, just made a little box to put it in. The reason I did that was because uh, the connections are exposed and I didn't want anybody's fingers to get on that. So you don't have to do that. You can just wrap it with tape if you wanted to. Very simple. All right. And here is your solenoid, and this is a double throw solenoid. And I got all of these parts, uh, all of them with the exception of just a few, from Granger. And I'm going to give you that, that list, and you can do that yourself. Uh, a few items I have uh, made that make things simpler, and uh, one of them is this little cha channel thing here that holds the, the cylinder. And so what I found was that this distance is critical. It needs to make a, a complete cycle each way. All right. Now there are a number of ways that you can adjust this, but what I found when I'm on my first one was that uh, I had a two by four there and I was just screwing it down with this, with a plate and, and it was just the most difficult thing to do. So what I did was I got this, made this channel and it, and, this we can screw back at a certain distance. I can give you that distance. And then this will slide on the inside. And when you get it to right where you want it, you just take this and turn with an Allen screw and just set it down and it'll lock in place. If it needs to be moved just slightly one way or the other to have it just right, it's easy to adjust. And that makes it a lot simpler than trying to unscrew and screw big uh, screws in your, your plywood or whatever. All right. And uh, the second item that is critically important is this one. And I make this part, uh, I, I looked and looked, but I could not find anything that had a clevis that was this size and, uh, you know, this much space in here. And the reason it needs that much space is that when it comes this way, we don't want it hitting right here. All right. And so this is made and, and this piece is 7 16 which is just the size of this piece on the up here that's adjustable. So that's really important. And then this can also be adjusted in and out by, uh, there's some, a few extra um, threads on here that'll help you adjust that. That's some, some really important pieces. And this piece right here, this protects you from sticking your finger in there, if something got jammed and you thought, oh, well, I'll just pull that out with my finger to get it out. If your finger's under there, when it comes back, it will take your finger off. So you don't want that. So <laughs> I always recommend that you put this little safety device in place. It won't get in your way and it will do the job that you need. All right. Another thing that you probably want to do is you want to use a little bit of oil in this hole and on this nut that's right down here. Now I'm going to show you what that nut looks like or that they, from magma, they give you a square nut that comes into this, and that's pretty awkward because what happens is uh, it, the, the pieces of it rub against this or against the sides as it's going up and down, and, and that's just awkward. So what I've done is I've taken 
and made a different one like this and it's smooth on top and you just put a little tiny drop of oil on it each time you get ready to use it that will help lubricate it I also lubricate these rails as well so that when it's going up and down that helps all right so another weak spot is going to be your spring you should always have a couple of springs on hand because uh, they are going in and out and they will break so as all springs do sooner or later so uh, when I store it at night I keep it with the the spring collapsed and then because I don't want anything to get dust or anything to get onto my my shaft over here I just put this little thing on there that's pretty neat it's just a, a piece of pipe uh, foam and that's easy to use you can make all kinds of things out of nothing almost all right I have here a timer and this is a, a, a very simple timer and uh, you can see it's 1EGD1 and what it does is it will uh, uh, have a very short recycle time but it's also adjustable you can adjust it up to 10 seconds or I have mine where it's about two seconds in and two seconds out I mean it just every two seconds it's making a bullet is being sized which is very very convenient like I said you can probably do between 12 and 1500 bullets an hour these are all nine millimeter but you could do probably even more than that with something like 380 although it's just going to cycle the same number of times so it's probably not going to cycle anymore all right I put it off and on switch here because if something happens and you want to stop it it's very simple to just reach over here and turn it off and I, I recommend that you you have that you've just got a fitting here that takes the air comes into this this just plugs into your airline which plugs into your compressor it's about as simple a thing as you can imagine and it will absolutely transform uh, the drudgery of, of sizing those bullets by hand and here's here's something that I want to say that is we all cast these bullets and we coat them or we lube them with wax it's critical that if your bullet is more than two thousandths over you need to step size it in other words you need to size it once with a, a little a halfway step and then you need to change out your 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 sizing die to, a, to the correct size and size it a second time as fast as this does it hey that's not a problem but you don't want to overtax what you've got there the last thing you want to do is bend any of this stuff and ruin it so just make it an, an, an extra step but I tell you what it'll still be faster and a lot more comfortable than, than what you're doing right now all right I'd like to encourage you that if you want to do this you can get those parts uh, all of them I, I have listed on the sheet you can get from from Granger I, I just got them from them and I know that these parts work if you change the parts for instance if you get one with a smaller shaft and so forth then everything else will change and so these parts will not work with your parts if you change it so I recommend that you get the same sort of thing uh, the difference in a cylinder cost is negligible compared to what you're you're making and you're building all right so use the parts that we have here and they'll work the, the small parts that I've showed you that that I make uh, you can contact me at my uh, my website my email address is mlccharters at att.net and I'm Dan uh, just let me know and I'll, I'll let you know what the, the cost of those are and I can ship them right to you I have a number already made up and I can make up as many as you need all right well I hope this is helpful to you uh, I, I'm, I'm ready to help you uh, make the, the drudgery of sizing a whole lot easier uh, in your shop. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.